guys welcome back okay so today i am going to be of course playing in makeup but i'm finally going to use my new tammy collection stuff y'all i'm literally i'm forcing myself to play with makeup today i don't know i just i'm like girl you gotta snap out of it you gotta get it together because i have so much new makeup to play with and I just got to do it. So yeah, I'm playing with my new Tammy products that she came out with, with Revolution. Y'all know she collabed with them once again. Ugh, a beautiful, big, gorgeous eyeshadow palette. I know you guys have seen it. I'm on a late bus, but honey, I'm about to play today. And oh my gosh, this palette, you guys, mine actually came with a crack in the mirror. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, there's a crack in my mirror. And so that sucks. But the customer service was really, really great, um, you know, with them um, replacing it. But anyways, this is what she looks like. I know you guys have seen her. I put up a picture on my Instagram, but she is just so pretty. It's called the Tropical Twilight. Okay, the packaging, the color is just gorgeous. And so I don't know what I'm doing with this today, you guys, no idea. So it looks like there's like rows of mattes and rows of shimmers. So the top row looks like it's all beautiful, kind of like warm tone, neutral like mattes. Second row, some beautiful shimmers and a glitter, it looks like. Next row, beautiful, colorful mattes. Oh, I love that row. And this last row, some more beautiful shimmers and glitters to play with. So yeah, I'm excited to play with this. I have no idea what I'm going to do, but hopefully it turns out and looks like a tropical twilight. Okay. <laughs> I also got both of her face palettes, the lighter one and the darker one. I think, which one is lighter? I think paradise glow is the lighter one. So this is paradise glow beautiful beautiful face palette i mean that blush looks gorgeous highlighters bronzes very very nice i just realized i ain't got no nails on <laughs> whatever okay and this one is golden hour which is the darker one. Oh my gosh this one looks so gorgeous ah i love both of them but let me show you them side by side so you can see the difference of the lighter versus the darker just in case it's hard for you to tell so i have the lighter one on top the darker one on the bottom so they're both absolutely gorgeous to me but oh ciao honey 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 they are just ugh, i can't wait to play with those so hopefully those work out also got her little lip kit which comes with a pencil lip liner and two of these i believe they're glosses y'all know i can't see without my glasses but this is what the two lip glosses look like very very pretty very pretty so i'm gonna be i don't know if i'm gonna swatch this whole palette you guys if i do i'll probably just insert it but let me go ahead moisturize this face because it's clean but it ain't moisturized and throw on some brows and then we can get started I've been using this Sugar Rush, this little lip balm that I got in my BoxyCharm from, who is it from? Tarte, I think. And I like it. It's actually a pretty nice lip balm. Um, I don't remember what the retail value is on it, but it's a nice lip balm. It is. I'm also going to go in with some of this Pure Heels Centella 90 Impule. Ampule. And it says here that it relieves irritations of sensitive skin and strengthens the skin's barrier. So I'm just going to use some of this underneath my moisturizer. And this stuff, it feels really nice. Um, you know, it kind of feels like one of those just like watery serums. But it feels really good. It smells a little bit medicine-y. So if you don't like a medicine-y smell, it might bother you. But it doesn't bother me. And to moisturize, I'm going in with my Mamond. This is the Rose Water Gel Cream. I love this stuff, you guys. It feels good. It smells good. It's just a really, really nice hydrator for the skin. 
And I've noticed like as I get older, I've been getting like really dry, like on the sides of my nose and just so weird, like in my ears and stuff, <laughs> like really getting like dry patches in certain areas, strange areas, but you know, as you age, you know, all kind of stuff can start happening to your skin and your body. <laughs> I'm not using like a bunch of like super bright ring lights and stuff today. I'm just using a soft light from my vanity mirror just to help me kind of chill and relax today with you guys. So yeah, if it's not like super bright and super all of that stuff, that's why. I'm going to go ahead, throw on some brows and then I'll be back. We could jump into this eyeshadow palette. Okay, you guys. So I have on some brows now. Don't even ask. <laughs> Don't even ask. I'm going to go in with some of my P. P. Louise. P. Louise base on my lids to prep them for this eyeshadow. So you guys might hear the fan because it's a little toasty right now and... I don't feel like being hot so <laughs> I do have my fan going my apologies now I wanted to show you guys these new brushes that my girl DJ has on her boutique website okay she came out with three brushes to start okay cuz y'all know I'm looking for a whole face so DJ I need a whole set of brushes okay but yeah she came out with these three very strategic brushes where they can be used for multiple things this is what they look like you guys very very nice beautiful construction I mean they are super duper soft very very nice and as you can see with these three different sizes you can use them for multiple things we got this one here is called the small fluff so this is the small fluff brush so you can use this for various things on your eyes for packing on eyeshadow for shimmers for lower lash line things like that very nice brush this one here is called the special double shader and this is what this one looks like it kind of has that flat design but it's still nice and fluffy enough to get a good eyeshadow um, blended out in your crease area little highlight situation going on I mean it's very very nice I love how these brushes look I really do and then this one here is called the large shadow fluff so this brush is excellent for also multiple uses if you want to take this brush blow out a shadow in your you know all over your lid maybe you want to do a one or a two color look and just kind of have it blended out this is perfect for that but with it also being a larger brush you can use it for highlight as well so I definitely love these multi-use brushes honey we are gonna go ahead and play with these check them out today but let's go ahead and jump into this palette <laughs> Like I said, you guys, I don't know what I want to do. Yeah, this is a tough one, you guys. Um, ooh. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start out with this yellow. And I'm going to just take this yellow on the upper portion of my lid, kind of underneath my brow bone. And I'm going to use the special double shader to do that. is nicely pigmented okay you guys I am actually shocked at how pigmented this yellow is you know yellows you usually have to build up fuss complain kick and fight and then they might show up <laughs> but this yellow is not playing okay and with this brush is definitely getting it is placing it exactly where I want it to go so Okay, so now I wanna go into this beautiful orange matte shade. Place that right under the yellow. Wow. 
So these shadows are blending together very nicely. They are definitely buildable. It's funny because as pretty as the orange is, I feel like the yellow is almost more pigmented than the orange. Next, I wanna go into this dark purple shade here. I was gonna use this one, but I kinda of wanna go into this one, which is a little bit darker, and concentrate that in my crease. This purple is very, very pigmented. I'm trying to be careful with it, but I feel like I done already overdid it. It's so pretty. Y'all already know once I start going ham with the color like this, that I'm gonna cut my crease. So I'm gonna use some of my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas, cut my crease, and then do something with this lid. Okay, now I got my cut down. I'm just going to clean up the outer edges. I want to check out this dark green mat. So I'm going to tap some of that on the outer portion of my winged out cut crease. Okay, I couldn't help myself. I am starting to do a double cut crease. <laughs> I couldn't help it, you guys. Okay, so right next to that green, I'm going back into this dark purple and just tap a little bit of that right next to the green. Okay, you guys, y'all see that pigmentation? Check out the pigmentation, okay? Even if you don't do multiple wild crazy looks, you know, with eyeshadow like I do, and you like just simple one shade, two shade, blown out looks, whatever, pigmentation is nice, real nice. And I just want y'all to know it's not easy trying to do a double cut crease a single cut crease for that matter on older wrinkled eyelids okay <laughs> so, <laughs> so the struggle is real but i'm loving this color story oh it's so pretty so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and play with this glitter this gorgeous glitter right here i'm going to take that and put that on you know the first part of my cut crease so I'm gonna go in with some of my NYX glitter glue, tap that down, and then put the glitter on top of it. And to place the glitter on my lid, I'm going to be using my DJ's Unique Boutique Small Fluff Brush. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of tape to pick up any excess glitter that's around my eyes because I don't want it to possibly get in my eye. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead, finish up my complexion, and then we'll come back, finish the eyes, and play around with the face palette. Okay, you guys, so my complexion is done. Now I'm ready to play with one of these face palettes, both of these face palettes, I don't know. But I want to go ahead and swatch them right quick. This one is the Paradise Glow, which is the lighter, the lighter of the two palettes. So let's go ahead and swatch this one right quick. Okay, so those are the shades from this palette. Very pretty. Just from those swatches, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna go with this palette. 
but let's watch the golden hour once again that's what golden hour looks like Okay, so that's what they look like side by side. It looks like in golden hour, the bronzer pulls a bit red. So, you know, if you like that type of thing, then you might like that. I would actually use that as a blush because it does pull so red. Very, very pretty. Oh my gosh, this blush is gorgeous. The highlight, uh, I think I'm gonna use the highlight from this one. And I'm going to use the blush and contour from the lighter one. So let's go in with this contour here. Okay, so I think I do like this bronzer for my skin tone. It's not anything too harsh, not too dark. Definitely buildable. It has a nice natural feel to it. And I like it. I think if I went in with the other bronzer, the one that I said I would use as a blush, it would be a little bit too dark, too red for me. But this one, I really like. Okay, so now I am gonna go into the darker palette. Do I wanna do blush? I'm gonna do blush first, actually. So I'm gonna go ahead, stay in this palette, take this beautiful orange looking blush and just put some of that on my cheeks. Yo, <laughs> be careful with this blush. Oh my gosh, it picked up a lot. Yeah, so I just dipped in there that one time you guys saw and it is really pigmented. But I like this color with this eye look, it's really pretty. Yeah, that's pretty, I like it, very, very nice. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into the darker palette which is the golden hour and I'm going to take the highlight out of here. It's a little bit more gold toned, so I'm gonna to use that today. And to apply it, I'm going to be using my Large Shadow Fluff Brush from DJ's Unique Boutique. Okay, pigment. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and Blend that out, whoa. Okay, that's some serious highlight. And I do not even feel like I picked up a lot. Oh, she's pretty. Uh, and I like how this brush is just allowing me to blend this highlight out and just kind of buff it out exactly where I want it to be. Yeah, it is really, really nice for that. It's perfect. It's perfectly in this area of my cheek. I like that, that's pretty. It's just like a nice, soft, glowy highlight. It's not glittery or anything like that. It's not highlighting all of my issues <laughs> on my face. I like it, it's pretty. I usually don't like to highlight my forehead because it's typically always shining on its own but this highlighter is so soft that I feel like it's okay for me to just add a little bit of glow to my forehead today okay I'm feeling it I like it I like it it's different okay so let's finish up these eyes right quick I'm gonna go in with one of my this is LA Girls uh, Shockwave Eyeliner Pencil, really pretty purple one. Now 
now I want to go into this beautiful dark blue matte here and I'm just going to smoke that out on my lower lash line. I'm going to go into this beautiful gold shimmer right here. Okay, you guys, so I'm not really in the mood for lashes today. I might put some on for my pictures, but for this video, I'm going to go in with some of my NYX Matte Black Liquid Eyeliner and my IT Cosmetics Super Superhero, <laughs> Superhero Mascara. <laughs> okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at these lip products. I'm going to go ahead and swatch this lip liner first. Okay, so that's a nice color. I like that nice, deep, kind of chestnut brown. I like that. That will work. Okay, so let's go ahead and swatch this lighter shade here. Ooh, I like that. That's the lighter shade. I like that a lot, very pretty. And then this one here is the darker shade. Oh, that's pretty too. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's gorgeous. Ooh. I think we're going to do nude today though. So I'm going to go with the lip liner and the lighter shade. like the color of this lip liner. It's very pretty, very Coco-licious. I like it. Oh, I like that. That is a very nice, just kind of like Coco Brown nude. She definitely picked a very nice lip combination for this set. So I like that. It's pretty and it feels good too. It's not sticky at all. <laughs> Just a nice, simple gloss. I like it. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go in with some of my MAC Fix Plus, and this is in the scent Lavender, and just kind of set this all in place. So that's it you guys for this kind of chill try on of Tammy's new collab with Revolution. I have to say, I love everything. <laughs> I love everything. The eyeshadow palette is gorgeous, nicely pigmented, easy to work with. The face palette, I love what it did to my face. I mean, I think I'm really more surprised at the highlighter more than anything because it truly is just a nice beautiful soft glow and I know I could build it up if I want to kind of bling it out but I love this just to wear nice and soft highlight um the bronzer worked nicely for me from the lighter palette you know if you're like my skin tone you can kind of gauge whether or not you want the lighter one or the darker one from the swatches as well I love both of them <laughs> But yeah, very, very happy. And this lip product, it is so comfortable. And the combination she put together, I love it. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm happy. <laughs> I am definitely happy with this collection. Have I, need, I mean, as soon as I seen her pop up with it, I was like, oh my gosh, when is it coming out? Because I'm buying it. I love Tammy and I love her collections. So anywho, that's it, you guys. If you're curious about what else I used on my face, I will try and remember to link it in the description box. And other than that, that's it. So hopefully you guys didn't mind too much. It's kind of like softer 
more ambient natural type lighting just to kind of see what's going on you know without all the bright lights in my face and I kind of had a good time just chilling with you guys sitting here and putting on makeup so anywho that's it thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit that like subscribe if you're not subscribed to your girl and I will see you on the next video Ta-da!